Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This is What's New Tuesday because it's, well, the day after Monday and the day before Wednesday. <laughs> so we're going to cover the stuff that's brand new this week, including mentioning the upcoming killer contract for the Roswell tank and the new Stephen Commander. So stay tuned and get ready to rock. This is What's New Tuesday. And I'm going to show you some stuff on here that will be helpful to you, probably. Maybe, maybe not. But the first thing that I need to mention, you probably know about it already. I made a video about the new XM66F Roswell Halloween tank, Tier 8 tank destroyer from America. And it's going to come with the Stephen Commander. This, to me, is the top priority of earning and what have you. Um, Halloween tanks are upcoming in about seven weeks, whatever that mode is. The next season starts the 1st of October. It'll be the Halloween season. So this is key. If you have Halloween tanks, great. If you don't have the Roswell, do the earn operation to get it. You can't beat it. It's just like a 50 or $60 Halloween tank that you can get for free. I'm going to get it for free. I don't buy those tanks, but that's just me. I'll do an earn operation and get a different tank if they have that available, which they have had for the last couple of years. I have several Halloween tanks. I'll make a video to show you my Halloween tanks so you can see them and go, hmm, I like that. That looks cool or whatever. So we're going to do What's New Tuesday, run through the stuff. There's not a lot here. But I got some stuff I need to tell you that'll help you. So let's go and do it. First thing offers. Hey, well, free daily chest. Let's do it right here. Live and in color. So live and in color, I got. Ta-da, nothing good. Like vehicle XP booster. Although 5,000 free, 5, free XP is good. Now on your free XP, I hoard it to trade it for tanks for free XP. That's just me. No rhyme intended. Now this is very important here, and I'll show you as it comes up later on. This is 20 times four commander boosters. The thing about times four commander boosters, one of the guys I, I know mentioned, he goes, well, all you gotta do is just play you know, the same tank twice, and it effectively is a times eight, but you have to play two games. So the only time the times eight would be better is if you have a monster game and get times eight, you, you know, you can make crazy commander points. But the bulk of times four is better because two times four commander boosters costs less than one times eight. This is the point he was making. Instead of buying the times eights, if you buy times fours, you're going to get a better deal over time. It does help you a lot and it's very valuable. But it's up to your personal choice, whatever. If you're pressed for time, the times eights are better. But the times eight have a negative in that if you have a horrible game in a times four, it costs less than if you have a horrible game in a times eight, which is more expensive. The times eight, the cheapest price you can get those for if you buy them from the store is 120 gold each. This one is 42 and 42 and a half gold for one of these guys. So it's what happens is you can basically buy if you bought three times four boosters at this price, it's one twenty seven and a half. A times eight is one twenty. That's one times eight. But three times four is essentially times twelve if you want to get down to it, if you can match it in one. So you get a much better deal. So the times eight is good, but times four is more economical. It's up to you. Do whatever you want. I'm just giving you the math explanation that if you're gonna if you have limited gold and you do want to use some commander experience boosters, the times four is the way to go. Cold War tanks. 
you know, wallet saver, 30% doesn't move me. I don't care. I don't want that anyway. But even if I wanted, I wouldn't pay 30% off. I buy those for 50% off or not at all. So same thing with this guy. I have this tank. Solid tank. Get it down the road, 50% off on a special sale. 30% is not enough for me. Now, there's an exception. It just occurred to me. If you need to buy one of these tanks to complete the Roswell uh, contract, that's good enough. If you need a tank destroyer that you want to roll with, this dude would be a good deal for a Cold War tank destroyer at that price. So I realized I was making a mistake and I just corrected it, so we're good. World War II tanks. Um, I have the Locust. It's an outstanding light tank. I have this sniper tank. I got in a uh, free operation, so I didn't pay for it. Uh, again, this tank is for free. Leave me a question and I'll tell you how to get it. It's no big deal. It's a free download. It's no big, you can get it like this, like 30 seconds if you know what you're doing. Same thing, Panzer uh, 30, uh, I'm sorry, that's the Panzer 2D. A uh, good light tank if you're interested in playing some Tier 2 matches. Microscopically small light tank for Tier 2. Panzer 38H, this tank is free. You can get it in 30 seconds. Same way you get the Panzer, I mean the uh, T2 light. Free with a garage slot, in fact. Tetrarch, another kind of mediocre Tier 2 tank. Fun if you want to play it. Get the 38H. That's the money maker, the commander builder that you can get. That's just awesome. Pack 40, good tier 3 sniper, slower than dirt. So you got to be careful in that regard. You're much better off objectively with the 76i. Faster speed, and it's more useful because of its faster speed. Not as powerful of a gun as the as the Pack 40. But this is overall, in my opinion, more useful due to its good armor and better mobility. If I'm recommending you buy one or the other, take the 76i. It's better. It is cool to drill tanks with this guy, but it is super duper slow. If you're in a platoon, you got a guy to push you. Problem solved. Let him push you and you're good. All right, auxiliary. Look at this nightmare. Well, now these are all things you don't need to buy. All right, you got boosters, blah, blah, blah. Basically, these are things they want gold for stuff they sell for silver. So don't buy any of these the top half. It's just a waste of time. Now, these are high-end boosters. Really expensive, okay? You get the best deal if you buy 100 of them for the high price, but it's expensive stuff. It's not for everybody. And I told you right here, there's the Times 8 Commanders. I'm sorry, that's uh, 50. There's the 100. This is the cheapest price, 120 each. Rather than buy this, go buy a bunch of times fours. You'll save a lot of money, just telling you. Or you'll get way more, tomato, tomato. Same thing here, more stuff you don't need to buy in general. So that's done. Download content, tank of the month, those are always a good deal. I already have this tank, so buying it will do me no good. That's what that green check mark means. But the rest of the stuff is overpriced. That's just me. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the uh, starter pack. I don't have the TL One PC. I don't want that tank. I don't care about that. I get it for free, fine. But I'm not. I don't want it. I wouldn't give you 50 cents for it. I'm happier with the quarters. Premium. Don't waste my time. It's free. I do contracts. Do a contract, hit the three free days, get out of the contract, do another contract, three days, go back to the one you just finished previously, if you could get the three days easily. I have, I don't know how much, I, 140 days. There you go, speaks for itself. Do, free, do contracts for free premium, that's what I do. Why buy something that's free? I don't buy things that are free. I don't go to the water fountain when I'm at school and drink from the water fountain, or if I'm at the gym, I drink from the water fountain for free. I don't go to one and pay for it. How stupid would you have to be? And now for war chests. All right, basic stuff coming up. We have the return of celebration war chests. 
And let me show you the story about these. If you look on the right, those are the four like top dogs, the Forad, the Molot, which is the Object 477A, the T58 Heavy, Centauro 45T. Now, as luck would have it, I have all of these tanks because three of these came from Season Pass Ultimates. And then the Malat was a separate one, which I got out of a chest as well. So what it boils down to, real simple, is this. If these are tanks that you want and don't have any of them, it's a much better deal. The more of these super tanks that you own in this set, the less of a, quote, good deal it is for you. So if these are tanks you don't want, don't waste your time. If you don't have these tanks and you want to get any of these tanks, then these are a very good deal, actually. So it's pretty simple in that regard. Let's look at the tank war chest. It's the same exact story. You see on the upper right the 114 SP2, the double tap, the M48A2 120mm, and the MBT80. Again, if you don't have any of these tanks and would like to have these tanks, then these can be a good deal for you. These are very, very hit and miss. Sometimes hit, sometimes miss, and sometimes a lot of misses. So you got to be careful. But if you only want one or two of those tanks, or if you have two of these four biggies, it, it loses its allure. You know, you're spending 800 gold for a chest. You know, what are you going to get out of it? You might get something good, you might not. You got to be aware of what the prizes are versus what you want. If you want all of these and have none of them, it's probably a, a good deal for you. I have two of these four, and I don't even really want the other two. They'd be nice, but I don't need them. Therefore, for me, I wouldn't touch these with a 10-foot pole. That's just me. So you got to learn what what makes it a, a, a you know a go or a no go. For me, this is a no go. But it's based upon what I have, nothing else. All right, now I see the commanders are gone. So these are just celebration chests and the tank chests, as well as the regular war chests. Now, these are regular war chests. These cost actual money. If you get a duplicate tank, then you're going to get a gold refund for the value of that tank. For example, if we look at the four tanks, the Churchill 3, the T26E4, that's a Super Pershing. The T28HTC, that's a Santa Claus tank. And T78, that's a tank destroyer. I have two of these tanks, which is the T78 tank destroyer and the Churchill. So for myself, if I got one of these and got a tank out of it that was one of these four tanks, I'd either get a refund or I'd get two tanks, one of the two tanks I don't have. So that's how it works. In the sergeant and the general chest, it's the same story as well. If you have the item and you get a duplicate, you get the full gold value. So if you get super lucky and you have like the most most valuable or two most valuable tanks that are given out as prizes, you want to get those prizes. Again, because they're worth a lot of gold. You know, that T-78 is around, geez, I don't know, 6,000, 5,000 gold. Churchill is a 1,500 gold. The T-26 E4 is like 7,200, I believe. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember the uh, Santa Claus tank, but it's also very good. So it just varies on what you need and what you have and, you know, what you could get with the refund. Now here <clears throat> we have the sergeant. Same exact story. The tanks you have here, they show you, there's a lot more than just these four. But I have all four of these. These are all good tanks. T-42 is about a 7,000 gold. Vengeance is like 7,000 or more, maybe eight or 9,000. 122S, I think, is a 7,000 gold. It's a tier seven. Um, maybe 6,000, I'm not sure on that one. King Dragon is a tier eight. Chinese, 
I think it's a seven or eight thousand gold. But these are worth a ton if you get them again. I have all four of these. So if I luck out on a long haul, get a sergeant's chest, and it's one of these matching tanks, woohoo! Jackpot, oh baby. So this is how you have to look at these things and understand is it worth your time? Finally, we'll take a look. At the general, Herr General. Now, I don't have the Atomic or the Verzilla. I have the Talon. I got that from a contract. And the Type 62, I got that from an urn operation, I think, I'm not sure. There's a lot more, and the big ones are in the general. The biggest one they have is the M60AX. I have that Era 3 medium tank. That tank is a 14,000 gold refund. So believe me, if I get a general chest, that's what I want. I want to see that M60AX because that's a 14,000 gold monster refund that I can spend on anything else. So who wouldn't want that? So that's the way it works. So just be aware of what's available versus what you want. Don't just buy something because you can and because, well, it's going to be a winner because you don't know. The odds are 10% of the, of the chest will have a tank in them. Could be slightly more for you, could be slightly less. It's random and it depends. So hope this video helped you with the What's New Tuesday and what's available. Tell your friends and make sure they understand what's going on here. Maybe they'll check out the video and like or subscribe. I have another killer video about the contract tank for the Roswell tank with the Stephen Commander. Real good stuff. Very important for upcoming Halloween in October. So that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed it. Glad to have you here. Hope to see you guys again in another video. And as always, like and subscribe.